Hello everyone, it's Pamela from Pamela's World and I got a video to share with you guys. So I got uh, the bag for my daughter with um with some stuff that I want to give my daughter just to say thank you. And these are Carter and Catalina's balloons. Finally, they had helium, so I was able to get the kids' balloon. And the kids absolutely love balloons. They absolutely love balloons. So I hope everyone is doing amazing. So I'm going to show you guys what I got in my daughter's bag. So this is this is her bag with the slot. So I'll show you guys what I got. And guys, I've been on a starvation for Bratz gummy bears. None of my Dollar Tree had any. I just sneaked this one. I found this one and I just opened it. And I'm sorry guys, I'll let you guys, let your mouth water, but I was starving for a gummy bear. We haven't had a gummy bear in a little while because we were unable to find gummy bear. And I had no lunch, so I'm eating gummy bear. I have to go to my other job just now. I just came out of the parking lot. There's nothing really interesting here. I'm just hoping and praying a tree don't fall on my car. <coughs> As you guys can see in the background, I'm in the parking lot. And it's very windy. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. So this is the tissue paper from her bag. Let me show you guys what I got in here. So I got I got Carter this Hello Neighbor. We definitely have to put Carter's gift in here too. Because he goes in there looking, you know, every bag goes in the house to think it's something for him. So I have started putting stuff in there for him. So I'm giving her this. I'm giving her the ice nail polish. I'm giving her the other ice nail polish. I know when she opens it, she's gonna give me the other one. But I don't wanna I don't wanna open it up and put it in there. It's gonna look tacky to give someone something and then and then you're having to open it up. So I'm giving her the headband. <coughs> And I'm also giving her um, these headbands that I hauled yesterday. And what else am I giving her? I'm giving her this one. And I'm also giving her these. <clears throat> Purple is her favorite color, so I had a package that I had opened. I didn't use these two, so I put it in there for her. And what else I'm giving her? And I think I have something else that I just bought. I have something else that I just bought for her as well. I bought some other headbands for her. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, where is it? I don't know what I did with it. I just bought it okay so I got these for her because she's working on a craft project right now so I picked up these two for her they didn't have them for a long time I just got them so I picked up that for her she's wanting stickers so and I also picked up this gimme for her this gimme tree pack, tree pack and this is this is new so I got those for her so I also have a small Dollar Tree haul. Nothing, nothing big, <clears throat> not too exciting. The only exciting thing that I found that's really exciting to me is I found a pumpkin, a pumpkin shape um, tree. That, that was exciting to me. And I got this car for her, card for her that say Munchkin, love Munchkin. And I got this card that say, thank you, much obliged, thanks with the dog because she has two pooch <clears throat> and um, this is the card inside it says pooches gracias which I think is so cute and I said to my beautiful daughter thanks for all the nice things you always do for me for me greatly appreciated dinner was absolutely beautiful I loved spending alone time sometimes and kiddos times thanks for always being my rock I love you more than words can say love mom and I went out with um to dinner with her with her yesterday we had um actually had japanese food so i got that so that was her bag with the beautiful slot on it and the kids got balloons 
I really don't pick up too many things for Catalina because Catalina is still, you know, a little toddler and she still puts things in her mouth. So I don't, I try not to pick up too many things for Catalina. So let me show you guys my small Dollar Tree haul. So this is my small Dollar Tree haul. I got this. I got this beautiful pumpkin tree. I couldn't leave it behind. I got no room for it, but it's a pumpkin. What can I do? It's pumpkin shape. It's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Beautiful pumpkin. Beautiful, beautiful. So, <coughs> so I got that. These bags always make me cough from the Dollar Tree. I don't know. So I picked these up, these snowflakes by Crafter Square, 25 piece. I picked this up for the Winter Wonderland pocket um, pocket letter that we're going to be working on. We have to go to Michael's today to get some, um, to actually get some, um, some Winter Wonderland paper cardstock so I could cut them and start the pocket letter. So I picked up these beads, 250 beads. They're all different sizes. In Crafter Square. And in the middle they got like like roses in the middle. So I picked that up. And I also picked up this this these stickers with the fries, the the taco, the pizza, the donut, ice cream, milk. And they all have eyes on them. Look at that. I've got eyes on you. Not fries. I got fries. I got eyes on you. <laughs> pop 12 pop up. They are so beautiful. Look at that. I craft a square. And I also picked up this storage bag. Two essen by Essentials. Two extra large. I don't know what else to do because I can't find the, um, I can't find, I cannot find the, um, the five pack like that I always store so I have all my stuff stuff everywhere so I picked that up so that I could start organizing myself but you only get two in there the other one you get three but I couldn't find the other one and I picked up these two I picked up these two for the um fall pocket letter and the on the winter wonderland pocket letter so i got that and you guys know i got um and you guys know i got what you call it gummy bears so it's a small small car haul i hope everyone is doing well and it's very windy here like i say And I was talk and I was commenting on um Christina's Christina from Michigan video. And she said she has bad weather over there just as well. A lot of rain yesterday and a lot of wind today. Now we're having the same weather here. It's just like the weather is like across the globe. And then I was talking to Heather and they have 90 degrees weather over there, 80 degrees weather, 90 degrees weather. And we are freezing over here with buckets of raindrops. Um, I don't know. Can't tell what, what, what season it is. It's fall right now, but we're getting so much rain like the spring. So. I don't know what to say. I still have my boxes in the car. I didn't take them out yet. And I actually went back today and mailed out the package. Mailed out one of the packages that I had the wrong incorrect address on. So I did that. I'm supposed to get there to Chris and um on Tuesday. So it's gonna be at her Puyo box on Tuesday. And that was her giveaway. She had won my giveaway, which I had sent her. Came back to me. 
And after this P.O. box for Chris, I'm not doing P.O. boxes anymore. That's the last P.O. box. If um, if anyone has a, um, a P.O. box and they send me anything, I'm, I'm going to just have to send you back a card to say thank you. Because usually, if I get friend mail, I would like to send you back friend mail. But if you have a P.O. box, I'm sorry. I'm not being nasty. I'm not being any way. But... I just had to spend $13 again to resend my package, you know. And like I said, if it's my fault, I'll own up to it. But if it's not my fault, and it comes back to me, then I'm not sending it back. Because if you leave a package sitting there, they're going to send it back to me. So, Those are the those are the problem, and I didn't get a PO box, and I'm happy I didn't get a PO box because I'd be pulling my hair out, paying for a PO box, and having all the stress with it. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys because I have to go back to work. So I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone.